overwatering, droopy leaves, and leaf loss are some major issues that cause our alocasia plants to fail to thrive. To grow the best ever alocasias, first you need to ensure the correct potting mix because all these problems come from root damage and root health is dependent on the type of soil you are using. So in this video, I'm going to share a potting mix recipe that will mimic the woodland or foresty environment on which most of the alocasia species are adapted. Now before discussing the potting soil recipe, first we need to understand the type of soil the alocasia plants are adapted to. In nature, alocasias thrive in the dense shade of the rainforest floor, and the soil of such areas has good water retention, high in organic matter, is peat-based, and contains dry leaves, leaf leader that ultimately turns the soil pH slightly acidic. So in our places, we also need to ensure the presence of such features in our soil. So based on all these features, here is a potting soil recipe that has given me very good results with growing alocasias and you can give it a try. First adding a part of coco peat. Here I have used refined and partly dried coco peat. You can use peat moss instead. Then adding one third part of partly carbonated rice hull. I prepared it at home. Very easy to prepare. Simply baked the raw rice hull for about seven to eight minutes and this turned crispy and partly carbonated. Next adding half part tree bark. The chip size are within two to three centimeter. I have used mahogany tree bark, but you can use orchid bark or any other tree bark. Next adding one third part of cocoa chips. These are shredded dry coconut husk and the chip sizes are within one to two centimeter. Next adding one third part pumice or perlite. You can use either perlite or pumice or can use both. This is mainly used to improve drainage. Then adding one fourth part of partly carbonated rice straw. Similar to the carbonated rice hull, I baked the rice straw for about seven to eight minutes and partly burned the straw. Now these partly carbonated rice straws as well as partly carbonated rice hulls have pesticidal properties. These will improve drainage and will release nutrients when decomposing. And finally adding half part compost. Here it will be much better if you can use leaf mold. Otherwise it's fine to use vermicompost or cow manure. Now mix all the ingredients thoroughly. Here all the product links I have provided in the description box and pinned comment. So this is the final product. It looks very porous and has a slightly chunky texture. And it looks almost similar to the texture of forest floor soil. Now my soil is ready to go and I'm going to repot these alocasia plants in a 4 inches pot. Each of these plants is sprouted from bulbs and have a very good root system. But their roots do not go very deep into the soil and these plants prefer slightly root bound condition. That's why I choose to repot these three plants together in this 4 inches pot. Now first, filled nearly half of the pot with potting soil, then placing the plants over the soil and filling the rest of the bare spaces with potting mix. Here, make sure this crown is slightly above the soil because it is susceptible to overwatering. Now after repotting, water the plants thoroughly and here you can see the soil is draining out excess water but enough moisture will be held by the cocoa peat, cocoa chips, carbonated rice hull and rice straw that is present in the soil. Also tree bark and compost will turn the soil slightly acidic over time. Now after repotting, I keep the plants in a bright place 
where they generally will receive around 3 to 4 hours of bright indirect light and will water again as soon as the upper 2 to 3 inches of the soil layer or around 50% soil feels dry. So that's all. If you are interested to learn the propagation methods and techniques of alocasia plants, then check the video that is displayed on the screen. And it will be highly appreciated if you support our channel by subscribing. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.